Well, the fall leaves are starting to transition across America. It always comes down to a specific week, depending on where you travel in the United States to view those fall foliage or those changing of the leaves, but it all depends on a few variables. And that's what we're going to dive into today, talking about not only the temperature, but also the drought that we've been faced with here across the portions of the Ohio River Valley and the uh, tri-state area, as well as the Appalachian Mountains. But we're also going to dive across the United States for those who may be traveling for this fall. Now, looking locally across temperature outlook, uh, a few spots over there on the West Coast are dipping into the cooler air, and the cooler air is what's actually going to allow for those leaves to change. If we don't start to see those cold fronts push down and provide some much cooler air for those overnight lows, then we're not necessarily going to see those leaves starting to change. But overall temperature outlook, we're still looking towards the end of September, which is a very crucial time for those leaves to start to transition. And we're still sitting in the outlook for above average temperatures. So not the best recipe for those leaves to transition. But when we turn the page and we talk about that drought monitor, even across the United States, we're seeing yellows, reds, and orange all across the board here. So not only locally in the Appalachian Mountains, which is a very popular tourist destination to go view those fall foliage or the, the transition of those leaves, but even across the Northwest, they're still dealing with those extreme and exceptional categories. So let's transition across the United States and let's talk about why it's been so dry, but also how this may impact the leaves. Now, most people will think that uh, since it's been so dry that most of the leaves are just going to fall off, but not necessarily the case. Some of this drought that we've been dealing with is actually going to delay it by a few days. So it's actually going to push this time frame back just about four days. Now it does line up with a specific week as we head through the end of September and into October, which we'll get to, but the drought monitor, it's not only plaguing us here locally. So as we look across the Northwest parts of Rapid City, Billings, Montana, even through Colorado, which is one of my favorite places to view uh, the leaves transitioning, which is usually right around this time. The end of September is the best time to head to Vail, Colorado, Beaver Creek, those popular skiing lodge areas and view those leaves. But they're already starting to see that impact. Those leaves are already starting to transition. So we're going to dive into why this drought monitor is really going to impact the leaves as we look a little bit closer to home. The drought monitor is going to not only delay it, which you Usually around this time of year, we look in mid to late October to see our leaves really peaking and transitioning into those yellows, those oranges that we really like to see those vibrant reds. But this year we may be looking at more of those browns and reds just due to not only the drought, the excessive heat that we've been dealing with, but when you put the two together, it's going to push it back not only a few days, but also not be as vibrant as we head through the late October days. And usually right around the second or third week of October is, is, is typically peak time frame to see those leaves transition here at least a little closer to home. When we look across the Midwest, yes, it's a little bit better chance to see those as we close out September because they haven't really been dealing with the drought quite as long as we have. But when we look closer to home and that average foliage peak time frame being mid to late October, that may just be closer to late October if we want to travel to the Laurel Highlands, parts of uh, the Appalachian Mountains. So we'll dive more into this as we head through the end of September into the start of October. But as of right now, it's not looking like the, the greatest recipe for those peak uh, colors really popping out of those leaves for those vibrant colors. It's looking like more of a, a brown and a red type of fall foliage for the Appalachian Mountains, at least locally. We'll have more details as we head through the end of September into the start of October, so stay with the Storm Tracker 7 weather team. But for now, let's send things back over to news.